Hey guys, welcome to the ICD 10 PCS coding series. If you are new to the channel, subscribe and follow the playlist from the beginning so that you understand every concept thoroughly. This is part 21 of the inpatient coding series. And today we will learn about the importance of root operations in PCS coding. I'm Vinay Kumar. I carry an overall experience of two decades in the US healthcare industry with vast experience in coding, auditing, training, and mentoring. I have helped many professionals in gaining knowledge and preparing for medical coding certifications. I'm dual certified from both AHIMA and AAPC with extensive knowledge in all, ver all the verticals of the revenue cycle management. At the end of this learning session, we will have a better understanding of coding resection from the first group of root operations. We'll take examples of coding from the medical and surgical section since that is the largest and most important section in PCS. There are a total of 31 root operations in the medical and surgical section. And these root operations are divided into nine groups based on similar attributes of surgical procedures. Today, we are looking at the first group, which talks about root operations that take out some or all of a body part. Examples are, I mean, the root operations are excision, resection, detachment, destruction, and extraction. These are the five root, root operations in this first group. Today, we are looking at the root operation resection, which carries a character value of T. Root operations are the most important aspect of building a PCS code. Remember that root operations define the objective or the goal of the procedure, and that is what you should be looking at always. Always read the definition of the root operation and compare it to the actual procedure that is performed. Only then you'll get, get it right. Resection. So resection is defined as cutting out or off without a replacement, all of a body part. Now this is what the difference is between resection and the previous root operation, excision. Resection is similar to excision, except resection includes removal of all of a body part or any subdivision of a body part that has its own body part value in PCS. Whereas excision includes removal of only a portion of a body part and not the entire body part. Examples of resection include total nephrectomy, total lobectomy of the lungs, and total mastectomy. Just like excision procedures, resection al also involves sharp instruments such as scalpel, scissors, wire, bone saw, or an electrocautery tip that are used generally to perform the resection procedures. An important point that you will need to remember is when coding for removal of lymph nodes and lymph node chains, keep in, keep in mind that one or two lymph nodes removed from an entire chain are coded as excision as the root operation. But if the entire chain of nodes are removed, then the root operation would be resection. This is a good example of physician query in ICD-10 PCS coding, which emphasizes the importance of complete documentation in the medical record. This is an example of coding resection procedures. A scope with instrumentation was inserted via small incisions in the left neck region, and the left lobe of the thyroid gland was removed in total. Biopsies were then taken from surrounding lymph nodes, and the scope and instrumentation were then removed. Now, there are two procedures in this case. First is the thyroid gland removal. Thyroid lobes have their own distinct body part value in ICD-10 PCS. Therefore, uh, this is a resection of the left thyroid lobe rather than an excision of the thyroid gland. And the second procedure is the lymph node biopsies that would be coded separately as excision uh, as a secondary procedure. So first procedure would be the resection of the left thyroid lobe. The second procedure would be the lymph node biopsies. 
This is the corresponding table that shows the removal of the left thyroid lobe. The section is medical and surgical. Body system is endocrine. Root operation is resection since the lobe was completely removed. Body part is the left thyroid gland lobe. Approach is percutaneous endoscopic since the procedure is done through a scope along with instrumentation. No device for the sixth character. And remember, device in PCS is something that is left inside after the procedure is complete and not something that is used to complete a procedure. Be careful with the device value. And the seventh character for this procedure is none for the qualifier. So the code for the thyroid lobe resection procedure would be 0, G, T, G, 4, Z, Z. Now the second procedure in this scenario is the lymph node biopsy. Section is medical and surgical. Body system is lymph lymphatic and hemic. Root operation is excision since only lymph nodes were removed, not the entire chain. Body part is lymphatic, right neck. Approach is percutaneous endoscopic. No device for the sixth character. And the seventh character qualifies qualifier is X since this is a biopsy procedure. And all biopsy procedures are coded as diagnostic. So the code for the lymph node biopsy would be 0, 7, B, 2, 4, Z and X. So the key points to remember are partial removal of a body part is coded as excision as the root operation and complete removal of a body part is coded as resection as the root operation. The other point you need to remember is lymph nodes removed as individual lymph nodes are coded as excision but if the entire lymph node chain in a particular area is removed then it is coded as resection as the root operation. You will find the online version of the ICD-10 PCS from this link from CMS. I have also provided this link in the description of the video. Make sure to read the description so that you will find the resources there. Thank you for watching guys. Please subscribe to the channel. If not, if you have not subscribed, that would really help, it, help me uh, and encourage me to more, do more videos. In the next set of videos, we will talk about the medical and surgical section, the root operations and also the uh, official uh, guidelines for ICD-10 PCS. We will continue with the detachment as the third root operation. Thank you.